Hello, 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 my love bugs. Once again, it is your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden not your heart, for I am just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for your likes, subscribe, shares, views, and memberships. Everything is greatly appreciated, my loves. So let's go ahead and get into another reading, okay? I'm hearing if it's worth your while to say something. Say something, baby. I don't think I know any other words than that, love. Um, <laughs> yeah, somebody feels like if it's worth your while, then say something. Somebody want to get it down. Somebody is physically attracted to you. They know that they will be happy with you. They ready to, they are mesmerized by your body, your tatas, and your kurima. They are, <laughs> just telling you what I'm seeing. They are very attracted to you. Somebody saying if it's worth their while, then say something. Yeah, and right again, somebody won't do it. Yeah, someone seeking pleasure, whether it's you or whether it's this other person, y'all are ready to be together. Y'all are having a point to where y'all are having a point to where y'all have to be alone. Maybe y'all have doubts about okay, so maybe, you know, this time alone is going to prove to both of you guys that you won't step out on each other, that they can trust you, you, you can trust each other. Um, because you have options you can literally go out here and sneak and do whatever but they know that you're being honest and you know that they're being honest like that stuff's not going down and that's why you guys are going to have joy and jubilation that's why maybe this person knows that y'all will be good together because you're not on that type of time you're not sneaking around even though this person wants it this person can't do anything but think about you they don't want to have nobody else yeah girl i'm about to dive in it <laughs> okay that's what he feel like sweet surrender this person ready for you to give in maybe they want you to call them i'm saying how come you don't call me call me anymore okay why you ain't calling them what's going on okay you waiting though okay so boom boom I'm a little confused, but I'm not. So let's keep it going because this is a confusing energy. I think both of y'all are so used to dealing with the back and forth of y'all's situation. Okay, maybe this is something y'all got on the low. Maybe this is a little crush. Maybe this is more than a crush. This could be a sneaky little situation. Y'all put this little where you go at what point you are at in the life with your divine partner or someone who is to be your divine partner, okay? But you and this person been going back and forth for a while because of the chaos that's been around this entire divine union. It's like you're waiting Say so this person can tell you're waiting by just looking at you and they long for you and they don't want to have to do it themselves no more maybe you don't want to have to do it yourself no more you long for this person as well yeah both of y'all like he just want to watch you look at you enjoy you and you just want to hug out on him and be on him like y'all just ready to be together i'm here we belong together i can't sleep at night because you're all on my mind bobby Wombex on the radio see it to me if you think you're lonely now wait a minute this is too deep <laughs> I gotta change the station so uh, okay so maybe y'all try to keep each other busy or keep yourselves busy so you don't think about each other but y'all know that this is a love and secret y'all love each other on the low so maybe if it's worth your while then say something maybe both of you guys need to say something maybe you be dropping hints maybe it's time for this person to say something yes this is time for this person to let you know that they think that you're the most beautiful woman in the world okay they they look at you as a woman not no girl not no bitch you know even though he might be around his home girl homeboys and be like yeah you know that's my bitch blah 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 blah, blah. or you know if you ride your home girls you like that's mine but you know good and too well you know that's your man that's your woman all right both of y'all are very jealous and possessive over each other okay y'all find full intimacy in each other y'all want to be together but what's the deal oh y'all got people trying to get in between y'all i'm hearing what it is oh oh what's up what's up somebody trying to talk to you and i think this masculine know about it and he ain't having it that's why he hurrying up and getting his bag together is what i'm hearing he don't yeah somebody is trying to get ready to come toward you in secret and he done picked up on it what in the world and he plan on crashing out he like maybe somebody could possibly be going around telling this masculine that you with somebody else or you sleeping with them to try to end whatever y'all got going on because this person is jealous but this man know like you can't out i am slapping skins with her what are you talking about what is this person saying yes this person is secretly saying that they celebrate with you and that's because they're jealous that this masculine is secretly celebrating with you i don't know maybe they're trying to trick this masculine and do some sort of uh what did i hear 
this person has mental issues, but this person thinks they're smarter than everybody else in the room, and this person is trying to use reverse psychology to get this masculine to say it, that you guys are sneaky linking. So maybe that this masculine feels like he can counter react the situation and go, well, I'm sleeping with her too. <laughs> But this person's jealousy has been shown maybe because they've been showing their ass is what I'm hearing. Person starting a lot of conflict because they don't want you to start or have a new beginning anywhere else, okay? So this masculine... He been sneaking off with you. You spiritually upgraded to an emperor's energy. That's why this other energy can't even get next to you, okay? Um, but you and this masculine are working together. You guys are going to sneak off in secret. You're going to be able to celebrate um, because you guys have been held back by so many different people. So many people are trying to pick up on when you're going to come together. So it's getting a lot of people are being nosy spiritually, physically. He probably has people physically stalking him. You got people physically stalking you. You got people praying against you. He got people praying against him. It is a whole community of people, which is in warlocks, praying against the both of y'all, trying to figure out when y'all going to do what y'all going to do. So the Holy Spirit's got to do it they like cloak you guys in the physical so that you can have success okay because there is something that you guys are supposed to do and it's going to happen okay and it's basically you're supposed to have a child doesn't mean you don't already have children but you're supposed to have a child with this masculine you're supposed to have children with this masculine you guys could be having up to uh, up to three kids together it's supposed to happen that way so it's kind of like if you get pregnant of course you're going to keep your business to yourself but that is what these people are trying to find out when it is that you get pregnant because they want to stop this from happening or they want to hold you back from going full term by causing you chaos maybe bullying you uh harassing you making you nervous doing all kind of spells to spike your anxiety so that you would eventually lose the child that's what they want to do because they want to sacrifice this child for some money boom or they don't want you to have children with this masculine because you guys are going to have generational wealth together and they don't want your bloodline being healed okay that's on a larger karmic scale on a smaller scale these people just don't want you happy they don't want you having success they spent so much time lying on you and now that this man still came in and wants to wipe you up got him sick okay causing all these illusions trying to control your ten of pentacles your generational wealth so this could possibly be somebody who is doing a lot of magic on you or a lot of men who are speaking ill against you because they don't want someone to come towards you you get you pregnant and they can't get you pregnant like they want to be able to have a baby with you because they want to put you on child support what the fuck going on all right <laughs> yeah they want to put you on child support they want to i'm hearing either put you some of your drinks make you seem crazy make you seem violent take the child away from you and get child support from you okay or also do magic on they want to get you pregnant and they know that your body I don't know, something about feeding you something over time if you were to get pregnant so you can have a child with disabilities and they can receive a check. Like, these people are karmic as hell and sick as fuck. I'm hearing one person that's just kind of like the... One person knows that he has children that have disabilities, so he purposely wants to have a child with you. To Y'all, these are people that are weird, but these are people that want to control you. They have some sort of entity that's controlling them that wants to control you and make a mockery of you whatever all right now this emperor is gonna come in and he wants to bring some good news to you maybe an option okay boom so he got a lot of options for you so you can make a judgment call he's possibly gonna come to you and be like hey you want to be my lady boom hey you want to go shopping boom hey you want to go out of town boom i'm ready to get down up in some get down you want to come with me for a couple days like he's gonna bring it to you honey this man begin to bag together so that he could bring you a lot of different options or maybe just you know do something for you I'm getting so he wanted to bring you more than one option. He wants to do more than one thing for you. He wants to show you how he feels about you. Um, and maybe for some forgiveness as well. Maybe he feels like uh, he spent too much time getting his money. He should have been over there helping you or something. Maybe he feels bad because he knew these people were coming towards you. Either way, he finally got his bag right and he's standing up for what's his, standing his ground. He's in a favorable position and he's ready to move forward. Um, and he's one step away from being committed to completing his plan. I'm getting maybe he had a lot of things he wanted to do in life and he needed to finish them first before he decided to make the big decision, which is to get married to you, to be with you, provide for you. Okay, um, emphasis on security. Yes, <laughs> self-control. Okay, don't want to sleep with nobody, be with nobody else. Like this person feels like he be missing you when you're not there and he ain't never really felt like that about nobody and he can't stop the feeling. He's ready to explore new territories and get up well he already been getting up in you but he's ready to come towards you he's being fearless now he doesn't care he needs to reconcile with you he feel like no we need some time together like this shit is fucking wild yep he has gained a new perspective and he's receiving guidance to 
move you off the calmer waters maybe because these people continuously try to attack you or to just move off the calmer waters from these jealous ass people because he wants this new start with you so bad these people are always going to continuously try to attack it so he know that okay now let's see holy spirit let's ask some questions oh yes let's ask some questions about this family because he is ready to come and get it down with you this person sees a bright future with you he finds you very attractive strong willed down to earth and he was surprised or he's going to be surprised oh okay he gonna surprise you with this love offer girl okay he gonna surprise you with this love offer and he gonna surprise you how quick he get you pregnant <laughs> most definitely okay he felt like uh maybe or okay he felt like you could have been nearing the end maybe that's why he wants to apologize because he was like i took too long to hurry up and come take care of you when i i've already knew that i was supposed to do that okay uh maybe you would tell him things and genuinely he would want to take care of a feminine but the feminines he took care of in the past was trash and they always would lie to him so he was a little iffy about you know 100 percent trust in the situation and then boom it slapped his ass in the head he was like yes i'm supposed to save her it's her she's the one i'm supposed to be with her she's the one you know what i'm saying so he figured it out yeah that you were telling the truth and you're the best decision that he has in the relationship like that's on big god this person feels like this is my wife this is wife material like she can hold her own and with us working together we're gonna hold millions we're gonna hold thousands we're gonna hold everything over everybody else's head and that's why he want to be your king of ones honey he feels like y'all need to reconcile and get it together this person may be even trying to get a house for y'all so y'all don't ever have to be apart again he feels this strongly for you and he wants to let you know that but these people that keep trying to betray him for some okay he snuck off from these other people who thought they they, they tricked him, he defeated them, humiliated them. So maybe two other people that he used to give money to or he used to deal with, they mad, they don't get no money no more, they being left out in the cold, and he's coming towards you, okay? He just know who he has to drop and get away from to be able to come towards you. And they're upset about that because they're going to financially juggle while he moves off to victory. Some of these people are going to end up going to jail. They were trying to get him to go to jail. He's a very innocent energy, and they missed an opportunity to try to trap him for some money. Could have been trying to rob him, too, okay? Either way it goes, he figured out what these people were trying to do behind his back, and he want to come over there with you. He want to explore new territories. He tired of the same old bullshit. He wants to come get justice. I know, that's right. But damn, they were really trying to get the man locked up, too trying to sabotage him maybe put him in the wrong place wrong time type of situation but anyways okay let's see some more on this good stuff this man want to come so where they gonna go what they gonna do okay a transition liberation rebirth you guys might be moving out of town that's going to help out with you guys' abundance okay you guys are meant to have a very prosperous a prosperous career both of you guys are very hard working and career driven and combining that is going to get y'all some money but not in this little town that y'all are in so basically moving is going to bring y'all more money and that's possibly why these people want to attack y'all some more so that y'all don't move y'all don't get what you know because y'all hard working y'all don't get this bag but yeah it's all about money they don't want y'all making more money than them small city small minds okay but let's go back to this passion on how this person feels for you all right, let's see. How does this person feel? Oh, my bad. This person feels like he's ready to come and tell you that he wants you and only you. He's ready for your embrace. And he, okay, yeah, he really wants to tell you he needs some cootie mama. And <laughs> he really feels like he needs to release some of this stress or he just needs to validate his, he just need to get up in there. He feels better when he up at home. That's what I'm hearing. Up in there is what he call home and he feels better when he's at home. If he can't get to it, he feels like somebody else could possibly be plotting on it, looking at it, think about it, and he'd be damned. Okay, this person said, I'm solely focused on you. I'm going to only be focused on you and I just want you solely focused on me. So in a way, he wants to put you right next to him and by him all the time so that he doesn't have to worry about who could be fighting for your love who coming towards you or he don't have to worry about going too far to come and get you or trying to hide or none of that he said i could just roll over and get down to get down to the get down he said i'm uh, i'm telling you he gonna get you pregnant quick because every time this man look at you he ain't gonna be able to keep his hands off you once y'all get together because you're gonna get together you're gonna say yes you know i mean all you gotta do is say yes don't deny what you feel let me undress you baby get over your stress I'm about to let you know you make me so, 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 you make me so, so, okay, sweet surrender, this person was just like, fuck, please, <laughs> please, please, oh my God, please, hey, hey, let me write that, don't care, don't care, let me write that, don't care, don't care, hey, this person want to get it from the big act. 
All right, the first day you got to be in my face. I know that in my mind. I just need it. I want it. I can't help but think about it. Just please call me. Okay, that's why I'm here. How come you don't call me? This person said, you usually call me and let me know. Call me. What's going on? Maybe this person was thinking like, why is she not calling me? She keeping the secret from me? <laughs> This person, nah, this is not funny. This person really will spaz out and crash out. And I think that you feel the same way. But this person will literally crash the fuck out. Like, you do not want to see that shit. Like, this person has a very bad side. And they don't, they, they just want you. All I want is you now, okay? Beyond words, the lady who waits, okay? You got these people trying to, trying to, trying to come towards you. He's like, no, wait for me. So that's why he giving you this opportunity. Because he's like, you know what? Um, You out here looking too good. You out here, you, you... <laughs> I'm hearing a dime, a dime a dozen or some shit. I don't know. This this man just feel like, you know what? I don't have no time to look at nobody else. I don't freaking want nobody else. I, I just want you. Say yes, okay? <laughs> yeah, the ideal romance. He tired of fighting the feeling, okay? I'm here. I can't fight this feeling anymore. Okay, let's get this. Ooh, somebody might be a Taurus in this situation. They want to come all out. Okay, you like when this person called too. So like I said, y'all getting in each other way. Oh, you don't want to call her. You want to call me. I don't want to call her because I don't want to bother her. I don't want to call him because I don't want to bother him. But look, y'all be thinking about each other the most when y'all smell each other. Y'all ain't be around each other, but y'all smell each other. I'm here. Look at this. Yeah, <laughs> your essence is intoxicating. This person smells you when you're not around. And you could have wore different perfumes around this person before. You could have just wore body wash around this person. He smell it. And it's like if this person only wore like cologne around you a couple times, you smell it. Or you just smell him. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all own it. Y'all are attached. Y'all got to be like with each other in the spiritual world okay this person said he wants to come deep he said he gonna put it all on you he'll paint your whole body with it when he through pull it out put it on you some of that's gonna go in you y'all gonna do it a lot i'm telling you you ain't gonna be able to walk too far without this man putting his hand back on you again he can't he can't he can't he can't fight the feeling no more but like i said he said he gonna put it on you like lotion honey it don't mean you gotta rub it in but it just makes him feel manly man like he's marking you so that you sm okay there are uh, secre um, inside of the secretion when it gets into your pores whatever smell that it has you have that smell and you know you go bathe but still it could seep out of your pores if it dried on you for a while or whatever uh, so he's like um, even if he was to let it loose inside of the in, in, in there it's gonna smell like him because he's marking his territory and now he's a part of you and you're a part of him <laughs> okay love language is showing you it sounds crazy but it's the truth y'all when y'all ingest any secretion whether you decided to get fellatio and it went in there or he decided to go down there and it went in there and he, or he decided to give you some face time and you you know was all over his face or whatever what else you guys are becoming one you guys are sneaking together that's why y'all be doing that freak nasty stuff with your sneaky links your asses don't want to let go and you don't know why they want don't want to let go it's because y'all need to keep your juices to yourself both of y'all are infatuated with each other this person is infatuated with you he said you're his and that's just that okay yeah, he wants you to call him. He wants you to be like, come get it. Okay, this person said he wants to give you the word. He's going to let you know that he has these deep emotions for you. He was like, it's something about the way you walk, something about the way you talk. He just don't know what you do to him. Sheesh. He said, but he damn sure wants you to get up on that thing like you did that one time. If you ain't did it, you going to do it. And he going to want you on that all the time. Okay. Whew. He says, uh, at first, you know, you may not be his usual type of feminine, vice versa. Maybe, you know, with all the stuff people were saying about you, or maybe all the stuff this person was talking about you. I don't know. This person just had his doubts. I'm getting, he just was really used to dominating feminines. And then when he came around you and actually experienced you, he was like, oh my gosh, she's my match. I like this. Damn, what you do to me, okay? He said he want to do, okay. He said he going to freak you out, baby girl. He want to use some toys. He want to get that thing going because he wants to make sure that you uh get yours okay and then he gonna go in for the long strokes because he said that thing gonna be uh nice and juicy okay uh what's that song i can get wet but you can get it wet come and let me rain down i don't know the words but that song rain down on me okay and he said he finna come put that d on you to have these other bitches going crazy does he need you to go crazy with him like he feel like he going crazy for you this boy's a mess anyways he said he liked the fact that you can take it that's why he gonna switch position and give you them long strokes okay he wants you to be very vocal 
when I told you he liked to hear you moan, he needs you to be vocal. He might also be vocal as well, might be telling you what to do, smack it, flip it, rub it down, shut up, this, that, and the third. Hey, he said he want to get down on the get down, okay? He said he never did it with nobody like he did it with you because they can't take it. You can. So he with it. Maybe you might be a little more flexible. Maybe you don't. For some of y'all, this man said maybe you don't have no BBL and you got a little more like uh, flexibility to your body. Okay, he said he know that cootie mama get wet and that's why he want a family with you or he ain't gonna have no choice but to have a family with you because that cootie mama be super soaking. Okay, he said he is sick of them quickies. He is ready to lay it down and take his time. He want to roll over and get it a couple times, okay? He want to make you smile. He loves to see your smile. You're his only love, okay? Somebody likes some neck kisses out the bunch. Maybe he know that's what you like. I'm here. He trying to put some hickeys everywhere, child. Okay, also he likes to touch. I heard Marion doom, doom, doom. Touch. <laughs> okay, and like I said, he like your fellatio. Again with the long strokes. This man said he about, to, he about to turn you out. He about to let you know. Okay, he said he want to kiss you. He love your nipples. And he gonna choke you. I, I, he secretly obsessed with you and that's all he think about is what he want to do to you, okay? He said this stuff that he want to do to you, he ain't never did to nobody. Because they couldn't last or they couldn't make it and you can, so... You're like a challenge. You're like his match. He's like, this is this is totally my cootie mama. All right, y'all. This is it. This is all. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to close it out, and we will get into another one. So meet me in the next one.